What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's cold, it's rainy, it's nasty, but we're still out here getting this bread. Every day is a is an opportunity to get better and no better way to start the video off than pulling in the truck of the day. We got this uh, like 15 to 15 to 18, 14 to 18 body style Tahoe getting pulled in today for a three inch body lift in some 40s. Now we did a nine inch FTS kit on this a couple months ago, six months, a year ago, something like that with the 26 14s and the Venoms. But we're getting it in today. First three inch body lift that we've done on a Tahoe like this. It's definitely gonna be a first for us, but I'm beyond excited because like I said, I've never done one of these before. It's gonna be a first on the channel. Let me see if I can, uh, there we go. Got a little exhaust back there too. Well, my guy came all the way from Alabama back to us. Like I said, we did the lift kit the first time. I think the body lift on the Tahoe is going to be any different than the Silverado? Shit, you, it shouldn't be. Hell yeah. Hear the toilet seat slap on the. <laughs> That's the greatest sound. I'll be in the middle of talking to a customer right now. Hear the toilet sleep slap down on the bowl and just look over at Jake and smirk and go back to talking to my customer because we know somebody's in there. When you hear it as many times as we hear it throughout the day, you know what the you, you develop the pattern in your head. Yeah, somebody's in there slapping on so, the right. The rain finally stopped. It's still cold as hell. But at least we can film a little bit outside. If any of y'all remember this truck that we did a while back, it's the uh, 2020 Denali HD, the all white McGoy's kit, 26 by 14 RBPs. The color matched inside, lip of the wheel, which is white as well, with that white McGoy's kit, super beautiful. We did the white rear traction bars as well. Beautiful addition, that chrome RBP. You got the chrome, or not the chrome, but the white color matched fender flares as well. He's got all the badges, the lights done, the trailer hitch in the back. I mean, he's color matched a lot of stuff on this truck. We just did a little routine maintenance on this one. This one turned out really good. If you guys don't remember him, Mr. Move Over is kind of the name that he's kind of been given. I know his Instagram's on the side of the truck, so y'all go show some love to my guy on Instagram. A couple of cool things up here. Got this uh, this old Tahoe, really nice customer that we've been doing some work for. Love the uh, love the two door Tahoe. Some of my Overland fans. I got a uh, F250 up here. We did a four inch super lift on a little Overland style. You guys know the vibe. Got the Ram up here still. I was supposed to have a buyer come through the other day and fell through never came to look at it you know typical ain't no no hate there but the bow tie up here i need to clean this this thing is just trashed right now to be honest with you but still looks kind of good old jay ford up here in the cut today 26 by 14 american forces nine inch mcgoys they got a lot of mcgoys kits up here today love jay ford's truck outside of it being freezing freaking cold today we finished up the three inch body lift on the tahoe and it's just perfect that it's sitting next to jake's truck because we get a side-by-side -side comparison of what a normal nine inch mcgoys kit versus a nine inch fts with a three inch body lift so we have like a 12 to 13 inch lift kit on a tahoe versus a nine inch lift kit on a tahoe sitting side by side now obviously the tahoe on the right has 40s on it. Completely forget that. And this only has 35. The size difference in person, so much bigger. I mean, just, just to give kind of a representation. If I'm standing at the mirror, it's it's touching my head, right? On the on the black truck. If I walk over to the mirror on this one, I mean there's there's definitely a good five or six inch size difference. I mean, rightfully so. The black Tahoe has a three inch body lift, and I do think the FTS kit sits a little bit taller anyway. So it's probably got a good four or five inch diff well, at least just off the lift kit it's probably got a good four or five inch difference right you got three inch body lift plus maybe an inch for the lift kit so it's definitely got at least four there and then on top of having the different size tires i mean you got 40s versus 35 so if you go off just the bottom height you got at least another two inches there so we're about six or seven inch height difference give or take a little bit between the fts kit with the body lift and the nine inch mcgoys we got 26 14s on the right side and 26 16s on the left side now i will give jake's tahoe this for what he lacks in height of tire on 35s, you definitely get with the width of the 16 wise, right? So it gives the truck every bit of stance and every bit of look that you need to make it be a showstopper, right? We jump over to the 40s and the 12 inch and it looks really tall and skinny in my opinion. Now, I still like the truck, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm not saying anything bad about the truck, but it, it looks tall and skinny compared 
to the 35 and 16 wides, at least sitting side by side. Now, if I saw it by itself, I may not think that, but seeing how short and wide the Tahoe on 16 wides is, you kind of you kind of catch that vibe just when you see the two side by side. But nonetheless, it is our first, not new body style, but first 14 to 18 or 20, whatever body style change, whenever it stopped. Our first Tahoe that we've done a body lift on of this body style, and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It took Mikey a day to do it, which ain't bad. Quicker than doing a lift kit. 26 by 14s that we put on it last time with the nine inch FTS, three inch body lift, 40, 13, 50, 26 Furies, which look absolutely amazing. Got all the blacked out badges, got the exhaust on the back. It's got the wheel lights that we put on it today, rock lights and wheel lights. It's actually got a JW Montoya Quadro wheel light and then a eight piece JW light kit. You can see that on there, freaking beautiful. Make sure you guys go show some love to JW Motorsports on Instagram. I'll make sure to link it below. The truck turned out really good. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like the three inch body lift or are you sticking with just a true suspension lift? I just need to throw this out there. Any of y'all out there that like the cold, we can't be friends. Cause it's like 33 degrees outside right now and I'm upset about it. Freaking trash, bro. What's up with this? All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna break this down for you real quick, all right? Um, that box is trash. That needs to go to trash. That also needs to go to trash. I need those boxes for something. Those spacers probably need to go back to Amazon. You those spacers tell the difference in the 1350s and the 1450s. Those spacers are going on a truck. That one needs to go on the rack outside. Those probably need to find their way to the trash. That one is trash. And then I don't know what the hell is going on over there. Breakdown. Ready, break. 99% sure that our FTS lift is here. And I've also got a McGoy's kit that got dropped off today too. I don't know if they put it in. Yeah, look, they're sitting right here. Hold on. The blue color. I'm about to pop that open. Look, I got a McGoy's kit here for a 2500 that's coming today. That one's gonna be cool. And this is for the truck that's been sitting outside with flat tires for the last three weeks. Look at that. It's gonna get a chrome cross member and this beautiful blue lift kit. Oh, I'm really excited now. Really excited. Jonathan, your lift kit's here. Got stocks on one side, the big ones on the other. Your lift kit's here. Zach, are y'all about to pull this in and start the lift kit? Soon if we get a lift free. Hell yeah. Lift kit's about to go on. That's the blue one that I showed you. It's getting a chrome cross member as well. It's gonna be freaking cool. My guy, Jonathan. Oh, I'm super excited. Let's get it. So we finished up the Tahoe today. Like I said, we got about a 12 inch lift on this thing, 12 to 13 inches, depending on how you want to look at it, whether you think the, the FTS sits at nine or 10 inches, but it turned out really amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm gonna finish the black 2500 or they're gonna finish the black 2500 with the chrome and blue lift kit in the next video. So make sure you guys stay tuned and check the, uh, hit the subscribe button so you guys can check that video out. But let me know what you guys think of the Tahoe in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Let's get this bread. Ready?